if the stock market is going down does it mean that the economy is also not performing well is there a direct relationship between the level of the market and the performance of a country's economy hi this is ajwal from ticket tape and we'll look at this relationship in today's video in our series obvious questions if you like simple explanations to such questions please subscribe to our channel Let's start with the economy. We'll do a detailed video later of how a country's economy works, but in short, it's a system of making and trading, or in other words, producing or consuming goods and services. Every participant in an economy, say India, can broadly be categorized as being either a producer or a consumer of goods. A producer can also be consumer of other goods and services. when production increases so does the income level of people who are involved in the production process makes sense right when that happens what it means is that there is more money in people's hands now compared to earlier which will lead to them buying more things think about it if you have more money in your hands you will as well probably go out and purchase more things so that increase consumption leads to even more production and the whole thing repeats over This is called a golden cycle. To recap, increased production leads to more money in people's hands, leads to increased consumption, which leads to increased production again. There are other factors as well uh, which needs to be considered here, like level of savings, uh, money supply, interest rates. But let's keep things simple for now. Now let's move on to the stock market. In simple words, companies. producing goods and services can choose to list themselves on the stock exchange like the national stock exchange nsc or the bombay stock exchange the bsc once the company is listed the general public can buy or sell shares of such companies on these exchanges the value of a share of a company depends on the level at which the buyers and the sellers value the company at if more people think that the company will do well in the future the demand for the shares of that company will go up so the sellers will ask for a higher price from the buyers for the shares of that company so what will happen the share price of the company will go up similarly if the company is not expected to do well in the future the share price of the company will come down remember we talked about production and consumption in an economy if both increase for a company's goods or services the revenue of the company is expected to go up in the future and by extension the profit of the company is also expected to go up in the future and who wouldn't want to own the shares of a company which is expected to do better in the future so in this example the company is expected to do well in the future and that's why the share price of the company went up now imagine the same analysis across thousands of other companies also listed on the exchange In a hypothetical scenario, if every company is expected to do well, the stock market participants are expecting increased production and consumption activities across the economy. In other words, they are predicting that the economy as a whole is expected to do well in the future. But is there a situation in which the stock market and the economy might move in different directions? Let's assume a scenario in which the production and consumption levels in an economy are going down. so the economy is slowing but at the same time there's a group of people with a lot of money and conviction who keep buying stocks so what will happen the stock market will go up even if the economy is not doing that well if more and more people keep on buying more stocks the stock prices might not come down for a long time even for a few years this is called a stock bubble where the increasing prices are not justified a time will come when the stock prices will have to come down to reflect the state of the economy this is called the bursting of the bubble and when that happens when the prices come down the stock market and the economy will again be in sync let's take an example to understand this have you ever walked a dog yourself or seen someone else walk a dog on a leash they'll never move in a straight line 
sometimes they will move to the left to sniff something and then there will be a squirrel on the right that they need to chase and then there will be a butterfly behind your back which will be the most important thing to them in the world ask me about it i have to i know the pain but overall the dog is still moving ahead with you even if she is not walking in a straight line over time she will either get tired or she'll be less distracted and will reduce the amount of deviation that she has from the straight path. Stock market as well in the long term will follow the path of the economy, even if there are distractions in the short term. So back to our question, is the stock market an indicator of how well the economy is doing? The answer is yes, for a mature market. But we should be looking at other indicators as well, in addition to the stock market. Like the unemployment rate. This represents a fraction of people who don't have a job. In an uptrending economy, this number tends to go down. Consumption level. How much are people spending to purchase goods and services? This is what really drives the economy. Level of investment. How much is the government and the people investing in the economy? This provides fuel to the companies to produce goods and services. Export and import. If export is more than import, money is basically flowing into the country from abroad, which increases the country's GDP. And money supply. How much money is floating in the economy? The more the money there is in the economy, the higher the consumption and stronger the economy. So you see how we need to look at multiple data points to try to find an answer to the question, how is the economy doing? The question is so complex that sometimes People come up with desperate indicators to try to find an answer. Here are a few we found. Lipstick index. Argument was that when the economy is not doing that well, women tend to buy costlier cosmetics. Don't ask me to explain the logic behind this. Hemline index. This theory suggests that women's skirts length gets shorter when the economy is doing better. Cardboard box index. This actually makes more sense than the others. Since in the economy, more and more goods are now packed in cardboard boxes. So an increase in activity in this industry predicts an overall increase in activity for the economy as a whole. Makes sense. Men's underwear index. This theory suggests that when economy is not doing that well, Men tend to not buy new underwear. I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know why I put this in here. Let's, let's move on. So what are the weird theories about economic indicators have you come across? Let us know in the comments below. And for more such videos on simple explanations to obvious questions, please subscribe to our channel. Keep learning.